Good morning, all of you. I'm very happy to welcome you to uh, VIT. Just wanted to uh, cover a few points. Um, first is for the parents here. Um, of course, this is home away from home, and you are in the kids are in safe hands. But do not uh, leave the kids and forget them. You you got to be there for them. You know we have um, two midterms, what we call as CATS, continuous assessment test one and continuous assessment test two, CAT one, CAT two, and then there will be the final exam, what we call as the term and exam. So you got to make sure that you know the uh, students are performing well in the midterm exams also, and then the final exam, and then they attend classes also. Be in touch with them. So that's the first suggestion to my uh, to the parents and the second one is about um, you know the Velo town it's even though we technically have become a city it's still a uh, town uh, it's not an expensive place you will find it very hard to spend money if you are coming from cities like uh, Delhi or Bombay or Bangalore this is not an expensive place so I request the students not to ask for a lot of money from parents and I request the parents not to give so much money to the students the Money is essential, but you know it could also be a spoiler. You already know about it, but you know I'm just putting it out there. Um, of course, you know that's why in the hostel you cannot have any motorized vehicle, no two wheelers, no ho no cars, nothing is allowed. You know, it's it's not that. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, there are many dis uh, disadvantages of allowing motorized vehicles in the hostel. Uh, you probably already know that. The key issue there is we want the students to stay focused. You are here for a reason. You want to build a nice career. That's the primary goal. So you stay focused. Don't get distracted. And this is the age, 16 to 21. This is the age where uh, you know some students get drifted away, get distracted. I don't need to elaborate all that. You probably know about it. So don't get distracted. Stay focused. That's why we have all these rules and regulations to help you stay focused in uh, your goals and achieving your goals. The other thing which I wanted to mention is about um, ethics. Now we have introduced a subject called ethics and values which has been mandatory for all the students of VIT and we have made it very innovative where you will get to uh, deal with ethical issues uh, in, a, in a role play, you will get prepared posters, there are very innovative ways where we are teaching about ethics. But having said that, the ethics comes from within, right? Nobody can force ethics on you, Nobody, they can all guide you. But as future citizens of this country and this world, you got to have strong ethics. What does education give you? That's a key question. You know, one is knowledge. You know, anybody and everybody can attain knowledge and use it. But are you doing the right thing? You know, we see so many scams these days. Whether it's the politicians or officials or businessmen, everywhere. Every day, you open the newspaper, you see a scam. You know, it's in the previous days it used to be just the blue collar crimes right people attacking with a knife point gun point and stealing away money these days it's all white collar crimes lakhs you have heard of lakhs then we heard of crows these days we are hearing lakhs of crows you can't even keep track of number of zeros in those numbers where money gets swindled but as an educated society what are we doing about it? Are we ethical? That's the point which I want each and every young mind here to think about. In the future, you know, many of you may not get into government positions, but even in private industry there is corruption. You should tell yourself that I will not be corrupt. You now that's the main problem which is plaguing this nation. As students, as the future generation of this country you, know, you should all take an oath to yourself it's not for anybody else for yourself this is the country which 
our ancestors have fought hard and got it. We didn't get the freedom easy. So many lives have been sacrificed. But are we going to retain that freedom by making it grow and being ethical? And it's a very highly philosophical thought. I, I don't think you are too young to think about it. You are mature enough to think about such things. You should think about it, write about it, etc. So it's a, it's a thought which I wanted to just plant in your minds. Um, the other issue which I wanted to uh, mention is about um, being creative and innovative. The way you have been studying so far in most of the schools has been just by heart, you know, they memorize and warm it back in the exam. That system has changed in VIT. You know, as uh, Provis was pointing out, a lot of it is going to be project based learning and want you to think in terms of higher order thinking. You have to analyze things. You cannot just mug up and reproduce. So you got to be changing your pattern. It's not going to be spoon feeding from the teachers. You got to, the teachers will be only facilitators. The pro professors will be facilitators. You got to proactively seek knowledge, whether it's from your uh, professors or seniors or your classmates or the internet or the library, there are so many resources. So you got to proactively gain knowledge. It's very important that you become a knowledge seeker. So the system has transformed from teacher-centric to learner-centric these days. So have that in mind because when students transition from the school system to the university system, I see a lot of failures in the first years, you know, because they don't seem to understand that the system has changed. They think that, okay, I can just read just for the exam, prepare in the last minute, go write. You know, it, it is bound to happen. Many of the students who scored 95, 98% in 12th standard end up with arrear exams, failures in first years, in first semester and second semester. So you got to be careful because once you get a failure uh, in your record, it's going to show up everywhere in the final uh, grade sheets and consolidated mark sheets. It's going to show up as a failure, one atom, so, uh, which will affect your placement in the future. So you got to be very careful about not getting any failures in your courses. So you need to change the way you prepare for your uh, studies when you come to um, university. And then the last point which I wanted to mention today is about um, communication skills, which you already are probably, I can never uh, overemphasize that. You know, even though you think that engineers need not talk much, need not communicate much, that's a very wrong notion. If you want to be a successful engineer, you need to communicate very well because you are not going to work in isolation. You are going to be working in teams. In a team environment, communication is very essential. How do you communicate with your uh, you know, colleagues? How do you communicate with your manager? And more important, how do you communicate with your client? So when you, that's about the work I even before you get there, even for your placement, interviews, and everywhere, you need to have good oral communication skills and, of course, written communication skills also and good listening skills. So these are all very important for you. I'm sure over a period, these are going to be, uh, you know, you're going to be part of VIT where you will learn all this because it's a very um, multicultural, cosmopolitan environment. So do not, you try to make new friends and uh, mix up with them. Don't just stick on to a particular uh, group, you know, make new friends and our FFCS will facilitate you to make new friends in each course. So th these are some of the points which I wanted to uh, mention to you. Uh, remember what Gandhiji said, you should be the change you want to see in the world. Thank you.